How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganesh here once again. So, Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you had a very exciting 2017 and are looking forward to even more exciting 2018, as am I. So, 2017 was a great year for me, both personally and professionally. However, it's 2018 that I'm really looking forward to, with most importantly, my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. So, with only a short couple months ago, I figured I'd do this video for you guys to talk to you about how I'm preparing for my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, okay guys, like I said, only a short couple months left to go. Let's talk about some of the ways that I'm preparing for my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike to make sure that I get to Georgia and Maine in one piece. So, first and foremost, let's talk about equipment. Now, if you have been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I'm a, a fairly experienced backpacker, that I really have my gear dialed in, um, and I know my gear upside down, inside and out. So, when it comes to my equipment, I'm pretty much set to go. However, it always comes down to some of the minute details and the things that I don't bring with me on my typical section hikes that I will be adding to my backpacking system. So little things really in regards to just hygiene in particular. So things like nail clippers, a trowel, some other little odds and ends like that, but nothing that I really have to drastically change about my system itself. But what I really want to talk about as far as equipment goes and how I'm preparing for it, I want to talk about some of the extras that I'm going to need, especially in regards to footwear or clothing. Again, just to make sure that I have a safe and successful through hike. So of course, first and foremost, footwear. I'm gonna need some extra footwear to make sure that I get myself from Georgia to Maine. Most through hikers, they say, go through about three or four pairs of shoes. Um, and of course, I'm trying to stay as lightweight as feet as my possible. Um, and big thing for me is I don't wanna have to get new shoes all the time and go through the you know breaking process or the getting used to process. So of course, with, in regards to footwear, I'm just making sure that I have enough of the same styles of pairs of shoes uh, to get myself through the whole hike. With shoes, of course, making sure I have plenty of socks. Um, yeah, I can always pick them up along the way, but if I can get them ahead of time, even better. You know, these are just little things I'm gonna have set to the side so that I can get those mailed down to me as I start to wear through them, or as the season starts to change over, I can have some of those extras sent down to me um, so that I can, you know, make sure I keep my stuff freshened up. And then, of course, those little things as well. You know, have some extra dry fit t-shirts ready to get mailed down to me. Some extra running shorts. Just some little odds and ends like that um, to where I don't have to pick stuff up along the trail. I have it ready to go waiting for me. And it's just with my support system, you know, my family and things. Um, you know, they'll, they'll be able to mail certain items down to me. And I can mail broken items or, or dirty items and such things back. Uh, so I can just continue at a regular pace. And then the last two things, how I'm preparing, really it comes down to a physical standpoint and a mental standpoint. So from a physical standpoint, obviously I'm going to be getting in plenty of my day hikes. I'm going to try to get in some, you know, some overnighters or some, uh, you know, two or three overnighters just to, you know, make sure I'm, you know, practicing with my equipment. Um, and of course, you know, just staying in as good a trail shape as I possibly can. Uh, with the cold weather, of course, it's always going to be tough getting out and about, but I will certainly do what I can. But beyond, you know, just exercising properly, uh, you know, getting in my day hikes, doing my trail runs, getting in some actual backpacking trips, of course, I need to make sure that I'm eating properly and I'm getting the proper nutrition into my body. So, of course, just little things, you know, I'm going to be getting some of those protein shakes and constantly putting those extra nutrients into my body. Um, and of course, just eating healthier, eating right, making sure I have plenty of calories, plenty of protein in my system, and, and to make sure I'm getting the proper nutrition that I need. And then, of course, lastly, preparing from a mental standpoint. You know, it's always really tough to plan out, you know, f you know dotting your I's really, really on point um, for such a substantial trip and a long distance trip like that. Really, it's just going to come down to more of the internal fight. I'm a very competitive person. I'm someone who likes to push my boundaries and push my limits a little bit. So kind of reining myself in and keeping my emotions and things under control, that's really going to be the biggest thing for me moving forward. You know, I have to understand that it's one step at a time, one day at a time. 
you know, thinking ahead and, and doing my research of what kind of weather to expect or learning from other through hikers is really going to aid in my experience and aid in my success. Um, but really it just comes down to, you know, really just that personal struggle. Um, you know, it's great that I'm going to be going with someone, a good friend of mine, someone who I undoubtedly trust out on the trail to know what to do in an emergency situation, uh, one, what to do at any given point in time should a situation actually arise. Uh, so that definitely helps in my confidence knowing that I'm going to be okay out there. And then, you know, going along with everything, really, the first two I'm talking about, just getting my equipment and my body right are going to help from that mental standpoint, just keep things calm, keep things into perspective, um, and, and really understand what my, what my limitations are right then and there and how far I'm able to push beyond them. So just a few quick things that I wanted to cover just as far as how I'm preparing for my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. I know it is a huge undertaking, but you know what? You also have to kind of live in the moment with it. You have to roll with the flow, but still be pro fully prepared for the unexpected should things arise. Um, and especially since I do have plenty of experience backpacking in some crazy weather, in some pretty tough conditions, you know, I think that's going to really set me up for success in the long run. You know, there's people who have never really hiked a day in their life who still do Georgia to Maine successfully. They might have some bumps along the way, but it's how you react to those bumps that really makes the difference whether you're going to make it or break it. So thank you guys so much for following along on another great video. I hope this helps some of you guys as well in preparing for some of your own through hikes or even your own section hikes or just learning, wanting to learn a little bit more about how backpackers prepare themselves for upcoming trips. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos. I have some great stuff coming out multiple times throughout the week. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment or a question down below, of course. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram and my Facebook page. The links are in the description. Thank you guys so much again. Catch you guys on the next video, next trip, next adventure. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.